Hi, I'm Trisha Sawyer and today we're going to talk about eyebrows. There's a lot of different methods that you can use to do your eyebrows and it gets kind of confusing. So I thought I would talk about some of the things that I've learned along the way. Um, one of the things that I've learned is if you go ahead and you put Ambisol on the area, if you're tweezing, on the area about five minutes before you start, it'll alleviate some of the pain some of the pain, not all of it, some of the pain, which is really helpful, especially if you're close to your peri period or um, um, a delicate girl. It it's, uh, makes it a lot less sensitive. So um, that also works for waxing as well. So waxing or tweezing, try Ambisol about five minutes before you do it. Um, another thing that I wanted to go over was shape. Whether you're waxing or tweezing, the shape is really important. And how we're gonna do that today on Brooke. <laughs> the general rule is, if you wanna take a stick, I'm using an orange wood stick. If you wanna take a stick and you wanna do it directly next to your nose, that should be where your eyebrows start. If Then you would take it and go from the tip of your nose through the center of your eye, the eye color. If your eyes are open, just open your eyes, look straight ahead. So we're going right through the iris that should be the highest point of her arch. And then keeping it there, that should be where the eyebrows end. So she needs to be filled in a little bit because her eyebrows are a little bit shorter than our method. So it's just the tip of the nose straight through and that's where your eyebrows will end. It's really helpful um, just to give you the arch points and the three points to use as kind of a general rule. Um, then I would just brush them up. This is an empty mascara wand. I'm just using that to get the, to brush them up and see what the general shape is that she has already. And sometimes I will fill them in first before I would tweeze and that just gives me a better idea of where I'm going to tweeze, especially if, you do, if you're lacking in eyebrows, it's very helpful to fill them in first because you don't ever want to take anything that you might need for an effect. Um, also too, to keep your tweezers sharp, I tend to keep my tweezers in something like this. This is just an old tube I found. I think maybe something else came in it. I don't even know, maybe a pencil or something. But keeping your points sharp on your tweezers is really important. Once they get dull, they're not going to be as useful. Um, and tweezermen, actually, if you send, you can send your tweezers in to get sharpened. So, but it's really important. Your tweezers should last you forever if you take care of them. So that's a really good way. So I have already put the Ambisol on her, and I'm just going to brush them up again. I think I'll fill in the tips just a little as far as the length goes. and the arch, and constantly check yourself in the mirror if you're doing it to yourself or if you're even to your client, or step in front of them and look straight on because eyebrows, everybody's face shape is different. Everybody has an eyebrow that's slightly different or higher, so make sure that you're constantly checking the, the face shape and the eyebrows because it's not always a general, you can't just look for on one side and do this and then expect this one to be the same. Uh, I'm using a hard, thin pencil on, on Brooke's eyebrows, and I'm doing my stroke of the pencil much like an eyebrow would grow. I'm starting at the base, so I'm depositing the most color at the bottom, and I'm stroking it up so my hand and the stroke will be lighter at the top, very much like a hair grows. It's thicker at the base and goes to next to nothing at the top. Eyebrows are probably one of the most important parts of the face. They really frame the eye and the shape of the face. So getting them right and filling them in and having them the right color, especially for you blondes. Blondes, I think, tend to think that their eyebrows should be a lot lighter, but really eyebrows, about a taupe is, is a perfect color for a blonde. Anything lighter than that, and you tend to, they tend to disappear. So I think blondes, one of the biggest things I see them, the mistake I see them do is that they don't do their eyebrows dark enough. Okay, so now that I've filled that in a little bit, I'm just going to, she's, she actually, her shape is really good, but she just has a few 
little strays, tiny, tiny strays. Um, there's all sorts of different tweezers. I'm using a slanted tweezer, but there's the, the pointed grip tweezers, um, there's the scissors, there's even the Japanese shavers that you can use um, if that are really popular just to get rid of the stray little hairs. Be very careful with these. <laughs> you can't just cut, cut off your eyebrows. Um, but try to grab the, the base of the hair and pull in the direction that the hair grows. And if you want to really set the eyebrow afterwards, you can go over the pencil with some powder. Um, if you really want to get the arch, really brush the arch of the eyebrows up, you can use eyebrow gels or eyebrow setting uh, products or even hairspray. This is an eyebrow setting liquid. That really holds and will keep them in place. If you're doing something more dramatic, I'm just going to step on this side and do her eyebrow on this side. Okay, now one thing when you're drawing in your eyebrows, especially at the tail of the eyebrow, you want to really watch where you go with it. Uh, meaning, don't, you don't want to hook it down. If you hook it down, that will close down your eye. If you bring it even more straight across, that'll give you a much more dramatic eye and really open it, but that's a little more stage. So you want to just keep it just in the same direction as it grows without hooking it down too much to create the most youthful eyebrow. Constantly brushing through it too as you're doing it really is helpful. Make sure this is clean though because if it's not, you're going to be depositing the color on the rest of the face. You, you would always want to brush in the direction that you would like the hair to go. So if you've got some hairs that are going this way and you want to tame them, you brush in the direction that you would like them to go. And if you find that after tweezing or after waxing you get really red, try a little cortisone cream just right on, on the area and it should take away the redness. And if you're somebody that is really missing a lot of eyebrows from over plucking through over the years or something like that, or you just want to create a more dramatic look or longer length in the eyebrows, you, they even make individual eyebrows now that you can add uh, with a little eyelash adhesive. Um, just make sure that you put them in the same direction as the hair grows. I, these are great. I used them on the quick and the dead on Sharon Stone where we just brought up her eyebrow arch slightly. They're really useful. But anyway, so that's how you do your eyebrows.